Hello and welcome back. We uh, you're gonna have another video of the cosmic horror, uh, solitary narrative-driven game, set in the weird, weird, weird kind of space. So in previous video, I forgot to do two things. So I'm gonna fix them immediately right now. First thing I forgot to do is I forgot that my hydroponics are actually working and they actually produce food. So every three years they produce one food. So in previous episode I ended with nine food. I already changed this so I actually have ten food due to hydroponics. Uh, second mistake was I totally forgot to do the sanity and guilt break test. These are the tests you always do at the end of your turn because you're uh, captain if it's very low on sanity or very high on guilt he could do some bad things toward the ship and the crew so i'm gonna do them now now there is one more age test but it's only then when your captain has 80 or more years where you can test that he actually died from the old age and if he dies that's game over because the crew dies also because your age reflects the age of the crew they kind of connected so you can die out of space not finishing your mission. Alright, so let's do this sanity break test. It's quite simple. D20 plus my proficiency. If it's higher than my current sanity, then I will have to do that uh, sanity break test. So we need a lower low roll, basically. So 19, oof, that's not the lower roll, plus... Two, that's 21 that's higher than 16 so right now there is a chance the game ends if I roll one or two uh, okay that was really close three wow that was really close you already see the the lower your sanity the higher chance for this and right now also it happened so since we didn't have any craziness we do have a uh, since we did fail a test, we do have a uh, Captain Mental State roll. So we're gonna get a Phobia. And for that I will have to load one of my Ward files. This one. So let's see what kind of uh, Phobia we're gonna get. So again, that's a D20 roll. And the roll is four, so we get uh, second bacteriophobia. That's phobia of bacteria. Uh, if any of your crew member is infected during the story event resolution, you will not allow anyone from that group to return to the ship. They all die abandoned in space, and every resource they had are lost with them. Basically, one infection in the team is a dead sentence for everyone in the world. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's copy this. The bacteriophobia. That's not good. I'm gonna write it here. Give me a second. Bacteriophobia. All right. That's what I have right now. And it's going to be in permanently in effect so i will need to check that from time to time if anyone gets infected so that's not good the good news is that these mental states could be removed but you would need some insight which i don't have any right now all right now let's test uh, guilt it's a d20 roll and if it's lower then my current guilt I fail but as you can see my current guilt is once and I cannot roll lower than once so we're gonna skip that so that's the two things I forgot to do last time all right so we are ready to continue with the game again 
I will shuffle this deck so you don't think I'm cheating or anything. Uh, I'm gonna draw to see how many years pass. Five years have passed from the previous event my crew was in Cryogenics Chamber. Uh, so let's do resources, expenditures immediately after that. So every three years we lose if the crew is in cryogenic chamber one oxygen and one food so this is nine and this would also be nine but keep in mind that hydroponics are working so i would get that one food so get the food lose the food so my food supply is still 10 you're fine all right so that was the years and i also need to write down that I am uh, so every five years in again chamber in what is one year of my life so I'm 37 years old right now that's one thing okay the second thing all crew members will wake up they are ready and active and now normally we would draw a card and do the event but i already have preset again event i'm just gonna draw one card like i drew it for the event this is what we have for this year it's a spade event corpse belt there is a nice image here so this is one of those events that are not mandatory i can decide not to engage with it but i will decide to engage otherwise this video would be boring well, let's read this little story here it sounded like raindrops hitting the hole at first then proximity alarms were sounded as large amount of small objects were clogging the ship's path all engines were shut down and vessels started automatic braking maneuvers when crew looked through portholes, they were snared with horror of realization that they were looking... What were they looking at? All around the ship expanded a cloud of corpses. 500 km wide and 1000 km long. Computer counted over 50 millions of human bodies, frozen and floating for unknown reasons. But it's actually... Mistake here should be a known amount of time. I'm gonna change it. There was no logical explanation how they got there forming this morbid corpse belt, and to get one, salvage team would have to be sent outside into that nightmare. All right, so you always for these kind of story events you have required so crew one to four, which I'll have to choose, and EVA suits for each crew member because they are doing some EVA going outside in the space. Now, whenever you use EVA suits, you're going to lose one oxygen because you have to fill them in with oxygen and give them to the crew. Considering I'm going to do this, I will immediately lower my oxygen to 8. So it's one oxygen per all the suits. Doesn't really matter how much crew members you're going to send. One or four, it's always one oxygen. Optional, and these are the proficiencies that are good for this... Uh, mission because if you use these proficiency specialist commander medic bio biologist and scientist you can get full bonuses from those proficiencies otherwise if you use anyone else you just get the plus one so basic bonus but if you have someone that is really good like let's see a uh, specialist who's my good specialist chan is good he has a two and is there anyone also a good specialist no, Dragon is kind of bad. So I have to decide how many crew members I want to send and then find the correct specialist because they will add to the dice roll. Uh, this is a dread bonus. That's how much we start with. We have to roll against this. So nine and it will be plus something. For every test is a bit different. And let me actually jump for the warp spell test. In this case it is and by the way you shouldn't be looking at this so let's actually hide before i decide all right so let's see i would send the specialist i would send three people specialist one commander and one scientist so my best specialist here 
is uh, Chen. So we're gonna find him. He's number nine. Okay, there he is. We're sending him. Uh, commander. There is Ben. There's only one commander. We're gonna add him too. Although I don't want to send people that are too proficient because if they if something happens to them, we're gonna lose them. So Ben is two. Uh, he's a number eighteen. Here it is. And we're gonna send one good scientist. Uh, let's see. Francois, number ten. So these are my picks. These three will go into this mission. And you should put them from higher to lower numbers. So 9, 10, 18. Because some story events will resolve on some crew members going from lower to higher or higher to lower number. Alright, so these three are going into space. I also have to provide three EVA suits. I'm just going to write it here. Uh, because if nothing happens to them, I'm going to get those suits back. But if they get missing, now dying, you will bring your dead back. Well, depends on the mission, but they will end up in the morgue, so you get the suits back. But if their status is missing during the mission, then you lose the suits also. So my three suits are now in use. And I already spent one oxygen to fill them up. All right. So the next thing we do is we roll on the story event chart. So, oh, by the way, first we roll to see which story is going to happen. The story number 15, I'm going to write that down. That's the story we're going to read. And the stories have a success or fail resolutions. Now we're going to check uh, strength of the story test. So, red bonus plus card draw. Uh, but if the card is black, we add 3 to that. So, red bonus is 9. So, we start with 9. Plus value of the card. It's a joker. Joker value is actually zero. And joker are colorless, so they don't add nothing to it. That's a good thing. So it's straight zero and plus zero because they do not add any color. It must be the red or a black color. So whenever you draw a joker, it's actually good for you. Except if you <laughs> if you draw them as a you know event. Then it's a mutiny test. All right, straight nine. I I think I'm gonna be fine with that. So my test is D20 plus crew uh, proficiencies. CP means proficiencies. And I have uh, let's see how how much I have in total. So it's gonna be D20 roll, which we're gonna see what's gonna be. Plus uh, we have a Chen. So, 9, 10, and 18. And it's a full bonus because I took the people I need. So, 2 plus 3. And 18 is 2. So, 7. And whatever I roll on a die. So, only if I roll... So I need to roll higher. Okay, let me actually check. Equal or higher than than nine. If I roll one or two, I will be in trouble. Actually, only if I roll a one, I'll be in trouble. Two is good for me, and everything above. And I roll a six. So we pass the step. That story test fifteen will be successful. All right, let's see what happens. So we read this part here. Up to here. 
Many of the bodies that were floating in the cloud or corpses had some kind of growth protruding through their uniforms and space, space suits, forming globules of flesh and strange green tissue. Team Leavitter wanted to take some samples, but you weren't sure. You couldn't shake the feeling of dread and disgust looking at those tumors through video feed from the suit cams. Alright, we have two resolutions here. Crew, uh, Captain must decide if I want to do that. And the resolution that will happen normally. So let's let's see the first one. I can order taking of samples. Then I do a card draw. If it's black, one lower to high crew member is infected. But I gain one cosmic insight and four raw, raw materials. Otherwise, I lose one sanity. I gain two raw materials and all crew members that were part of this story event are depressed. All right, I'm going to... There is a chance to get the cosmic insight here. And these insights you need to do the mission. But knowing that I'm uh, that I have this bacteriophobia, which means if one of them get infected, I'm not gonna <laughs> let them out, let them in into the ship, and then it's gonna all kinds of things gonna happen because these people are probably in some social connections. Let's see, Chan nine, yeah, friends with ten. Well, 10 is already on the mission, so doesn't care about that. Enemy with 13, so Chen is fine. Let's see the 10. Francois is friends and sister of 16. Yeah, that, that could cause these other crew members to get rebellious and de depressed. So I think I will not do this, although I would like some cosmic insights and four raw materials. So instead I'm going to decide... Oops. I'm going to decide this other thing, which is normal resolution if, if I don't do Captain Man's decide. So I lose two, one sanity and gain two raw materials, but all crew members are depressed. All right. My sanity is going to go to 17. And I get two raw materials. Uh, my suits are all back, but all crew members are depressed, and we're gonna put them. Normally, you would write the status here, but I'm gonna just gonna put them here and put that they depressed. Okay, it kind of down. All right, so raw materials, they can be used to, pro if your processing plant is working, they can be used to turn them into some other resources. But those resources cannot be food or oxygen reserves. So must be fuel, EVA suits and torpedoes. And you should spend them all immediately. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, oh, by the way, yeah. I forgot to remove some fuel due to travel through space. Should be 70. See? It's easy to forget these things. Now let me check. Is it a... Yeah, it's 3 per year and we only have 5 years. So what I'm thinking... Let's... Uh, I think I'm still fine with this fuel and suit. So I'm just going to turn them into torpedoes. I'm going to have 15 torpedoes. That's the raw materials we're going to use. And now, time to issue some orders. Remember, I can issue up to three orders. Everything beyond that, I have to pay with sanity. So, my orders... Now, let me explain what happens when the crew is depressed. If they are in depressed state, and you would write that down here in their status, uh, they have zero proficiency bonus. They do not contribute with, with nothing. Even, like... You don't even get that, that plus one if, if you don't need their proficiency. So in this case, I don't like that. So I will have to issue order to put all these crew members in the recreational lounge. And it's one order for all the press crew members. So that will be my, my first order. So there is a crew treatment. We're going to roll D20 plus their proficiency against the card draw. And I have to test every crew member separately. Success, crewman is fully healed, he's not depressed anymore. Fail, crewman is still depressed. 
So let's try with the Chen first. So D20 plus his proficiency is number 9. So plus 2 to this. So 7 and 2 is 9 against a uh, joker is uh, I think it's fine it's actually yeah it's a seven so he's not depressed anymore I'm gonna add him to the rest of the active crew uh let's try for the Francois plus three to the roll uh, that's just a five because I roll a two against five okay is it uh, oh yeah it must be equal or higher so she's fine too and lastly number 18 is ben he has a plus two to this roll well plus two that's 14 there is no higher card than 14 we still have to draw cards so he's fine too well, they were a bit depressed after this mission, but I sent them to the creation lounge and they are now fine again. All right, I have still two orders. One for sure will be to put my crew members back into the cryogenic chamber. And my last, I think I'm going to try to fix the lifeboats just to be have a really, you know, neat ship. Everything fixed and working. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to use a processing plant to process one of the EVA suits into tools and we're going to try to fix the light boats that just the 20 plus against the card draw. All right. So, oh, that's a 4. Yeah, this is 10. So, we still can't manage to fix these light boats. So that was that. My last order would be to put all crew members back into the cryogenic chamber. And we're going to continue our journey. In this strange space. Uh, oh yeah, again. You see, I, again, I would forget. So before that, I need to test my sanity and guilt break. I don't have to test the guilt, but let's go for the sanity. So D20 plus my proficiency. Uh, four plus two is six. It's lower than 17, so I'm fine. Only when it's higher, then I'm, I'm in trouble. So I ended with bacteriophobia. Anything infected is not going to be, not going to let it back into the ship. <laughs> and I get a bit older. And we didn't get much from this uh, event, sadly. Only two raw materials, but we are still fine. Our oxygen reserves are a bit low, but I'm guessing we would, I'm guessing we might find some oxygen. Some future events, we will see. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and we will we'll see you how it's going to go for me next time in the next event type. So goodbye and take care.